We're also following more breaking news in Brooklyn, where crews worked overnight to restore power after an explosion at a Con Ed substation. Let's get right to Lizette Nunez. She is live in the Dumbo neighborhood with the very latest. Lizette, there is reports people were trapped in elevators overnight. Yep, that's right, Tashani. The FDNY got calls of people getting trapped in elevators and they had to go ahead and rescue them. Some witnesses described it as an explosion and they also saw black smoke coming from the Con Ed station here in Brooklyn. I want to get to video of what things looked like earlier. People were posting on social media. They saw that black smoke coming from Brooklyn and they were trying to basically figure out what was going on. Now, Con Ed says right before midnight, there was a fault on a high tension transmission line at their substation in Brooklyn, causing customers to see a dip or either a surge in power. The FDNY says there were reports of power issues across the city, and this caused problems at the Wegmans in downtown Brooklyn after reports that a person was stuck in the elevator after the power went out. Fire crews could be seen entering the store with equipment to make the rescue. Now, first, you'll listen to audio from dispatch as first responders were called to the scene, and you'll also hear from a witness who was near Wegmans when the outage happened. 3 1, we're also getting 50 Bridge Street off of Plymouth reporting a, a power grid explosion. All I know is that the dude in the elevator was in there before the outage was going off. It just outed and then he was stuck in there. It was like stuck in between floors or something like that. Yeah, so at one point, over a thousand customers had reported that they lost power. It since has been restored. We also heard that early in the morning there was some disruption and also some power outages on the four and six line, but that also has since been fixed. That's the latest from Brooklyn to Shawnee Wilson. Thanks back inside. All right, Lizette, thank you.